I'm Anne from Game Like a Mother. Today I'm going to share a rules overview and review of Superfly. It's ages 6 and up, 3 to 5 players, and it takes 20 minutes. Let me show you how to play. The goal of the game is to be the first to have collected three of these tokens. To start the game, you all do a fly impression, and whoever makes the best fly impression gets to be the first player. All that means is that you shuffle the cards and deal one out face down to each player and that you're the person responsible for flipping out cards for during gameplay. Here we have a three player game. Each person has a card and they've picked a fly swatter with a colorful uh, die on the inside. And for however many people you're playing with, you're going to flip over that many cards minus one. So we have a three player game. So we're just flipping out two cards. And how gameplay works is you're trying to collect cards and we always count down three, two, one, and then everybody takes their fly swatter. And at the same time, you want to make, you're trying to make them shake, you flip them down on the card that you want. At that point, there's a few different things you need to check. Um, if it's just you that have, has um, selected the card, you get it as long as your number isn't the same as on the cards. So this person rolled a five and it's a four here, so they would get to have the card. And uh, you can't have your cards face down. We usually just have them uh, face up as we play. It just makes it easier. Uh, between these two players, uh, if you have two people that have played on the same card, there's a battle. And whoever has played the higher number gets the card. They played a four. Uh, this person played a three. However, uh, a three matches the number on the card, so it would be discarded. So there are a couple different things that can happen. If they had rolled a two and this person had a four, this person would just get to keep the card. But they rolled a three. If anybody has a number that matches it, it gets discarded off to the side. Or sometimes you roll the same number. We'll say these both were fours. If that happens, here are their two cards. If these had both been fours, this would be um, discarded. There wasn't anybody who, who earned it. And then these two, their hands are swapped if it's the same number. So there's a few different things that can happen. And if they had done that one last scenario, if everyone, if they, everyone had just decided this was the card they were going for, and these two people had rolled fours, and this person had rolled a five, so nobody rolled the three, then these two, they started with this, they would swap hands because they had the same number, and then the person with the highest die roll would get the card. So there's a number of different things that can happen depending on what you've got. So we'll say what happened originally, this person collected the card, this one was discarded, um, they get to keep their original cards. And what you're going for is you keep on doing this, you keep on placing out two cards, and if you don't want to go for it, you're not required to, but in general, you want to go for cards. You just want to get cards, or you want to block people from cards. So each time, you have to shake it, then you place it out each time, and people are collecting cards each round. Um, this person is six, it matched the number, so it gets discarded, and you keep on doing that until um, it's not always even how many cards people have. Sometimes you just have a bummer luck and you don't end up with a lot of cards. You keep on going until somebody gets to five cards. At that point, we'll say this person has five cards and um, this person just has a couple more. This person, so they got these while playing them out and doing the fly swatter. So now at this point, once somebody has five cards, they're out and the other people have one more round to collect another card. And you still put out the same number of cards as you have been for previous rounds, even though this person isn't allowed to use their fly swatter. So it's between these two people and uh, they're going to, uh, this person wants another five and I'll show you why. So you go like this and oh, they wanted to get it, but this person got the five on their fly swatter. So it's discarded. And at this point, you're comparing the cards you've collected for different sets. The different kind of sets you can get are you have to have at least three cards to make a set. And your sets can be either the same, all the same color cards. You have to have at least three. Uh, 
all the same number cards. You have to have at least three or cards that are neither the same color or the same number. Like I call that the hodgepodge one. You have a hodgepodge set. So you compare this person has three fives. Uh, this person has three cards that are different numbers and values. And this person can choose. They have either three fours or they have um, a set of three that are all different numbers and colors. So in this case, everyone tied. And so they would all win a token and start the next round. If this player had been able to do a little bit better. Let's see if they'd been had the yellow two instead of the yellow four, then they would have had a set of four of different numbers and colors and then only they would have won the token and these two wouldn't have. So after the tokens have been awarded, only the person who has the greatest value of a set, three or more of whatever the three different categories are, they get the token. Um, they all tied this time, so they'd all have a token by them. Then you just take the cards, put them back, um, shuffle them up. Um, usually you pass this to the left and the next person gets to be the one to shuffle them up and deal them out. And they deal out one card face down to each player. You start with a card and then they just do the same thing. And you keep on going playing rounds until someone has collected three of these little chips and then they are the winner. So that's how to play Superfly. The target demographic for this game is it is a family game for early elementary school kids. Uh, younger kids are going to love this game. Although the theme is a little tricky at first because no one's favorite animal is the fly. Uh, but the graphics are really cute in the game. The little fly swatters are very fun. And so once they open the box and actually play it once, uh, they're going to be into it, but uh, from the get-go, the fly is a little bit of a tougher sell than some of the other cute um, animal or insect games that are out there. Uh, the rule complexity is quite easy. Uh, once you've played through once, it's it's super simple, and I love games that, you know, five, six, seven-year-olds can fully grasp and play on their own without any adult assistance, and they do that very well in this game. Uh, how competitive is this game? It's medium competitive, but in a pretty mellow way. I really like that uh, you're going for the same card sometimes, but a lot of interesting things can happen. Uh, somebody can make the card have to be discarded. Uh, the battle, one per you can still get it, even if somebody else goes for the same card for you. And when you swap hands, that's really fun and exciting. And it usually isn't anything too bad because everyone's trying to build good hands. So there's a lot of fun things that can happen uh, while you're playing. So while it is competitive, um, it's, it seems like it's happy competitive, which is helpful for um, younger, younger kids. Uh, the replay value is high for the correct demographic. If you've got younger kids playing this game, they are going to really enjoy it. However, uh, it is tricky because of the player count. The fact that it's a three to five player game means that I can't just sit down and play it with a child one-on-one. -on -one. Having to have a third player is part of what makes the game so fun, but also just sometimes makes it harder to play as often. So be aware of that. Uh, similar games, if you like this and are looking for something else, uh, Go Nuts for Donuts is a good one to progress to after this because it's uh, a donut theme, which every kid will like. And uh, it's the same kind of thing where you have cards out in the, in the middle and you're trying to select certain ones, but it's a little bit tougher because if two people go for the same donut, then nobody gets it. So uh, we have played that before this. And so this just seemed very cozy and friendly because a lot of times you still, um, people still get to get the cards and in Go Nuts for Donuts, there's more opportunity for being upset that your donut that you wanted was discarded. And then also uh, the same game company that published this game, Loki Games, also uh, has made the game Kraken Attack, which we love. It's fun, busy, but 
but simple enough and it's an ages seven and up game and it does work well at two players. And so if they really like this game and want something two player or they want something to kind of move on to after this, um, I would highly recommend Crack and Attack. But we are loving uh, Superfly. My seven-year-old son cannot stop carrying these little things around and my three-year-old daughter is obsessed with them as well. So many points for cool components. Uh, check out Superfly. Thanks and see you next time from Game Like a Mother.